Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm going to call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old man, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, OK? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is this man? Man, what is man just from, come man? on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? You buy weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. It's not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you in stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust, Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, old boy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. I'm all about to do his thing, all right? I need to start making some money. Hey! I got you on that one. You ain't got to worry about shit. Hey, be on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packers to collect. You got the grip? President accounted for him. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample. <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me the, give me the back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Oh, ah. oh, you motherfuckers are dead. You got fucked up. You got walked. <laughs>
out of here.
Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a. Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. That's it, ain't it, Floyd? So that, that, that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death. Let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, golly, boy, you're sticking a mug. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well... Like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether security consultants. Private army to the New World Order. My butt gone The folks waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. Are you under the influence? Won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague Ralph. I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? Oh, there's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right, we'll take a look at that as well. Bridges. They the only way out the port? Yep. Once you're off them, you're straight on the highway. A truck can come here, load up, and get on the blacktop, keep on going till it runs out of gas. Real poetic. What happens if an alarm's trip? The National Office of Security Enforcement monitors the whole area. If something goes off in Port City, every road around here gets shut down. There's no way anybody could come in or out. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. I hate getting up early Here comes the suit. Forward. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong well, real quick. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? And all those big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? 
Now this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. They shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merriweather guys at 2 o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. They're gonna check us. It's those containers. Baby. B. Trevor! Clamp it on now! That's it. Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. No, no, no. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! And attach it. Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... <laughs> with the... With the say no more. You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry.
great time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. Ooh. Okay, I'm sitting here. What do you want? The red containers below need to go on the trucks at the end. Grab them, move them, put them down. First up, position the cabin over a container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. She's there! Lock her on! It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. We need to go to the other end. Bay 5. Keep going! Keep going! That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. The truck is clear to go. And you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Get back down to the other end. Get in position over the second container in bay one. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy.
Sure, you want to see that warehouse? Come on. This rig ain't being used. Eighteen-year-old model can do that. I know for sure. Only you can do that. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman is one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. But he was mother. He's fine. No, spill it shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Restricted access. No entiendo. Uh, no understand you. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck did you think you must have got confused. Uh, the guy don't speak English. Uh, must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, oh, yes. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. The way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. Things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. You're just not cut out for honest work, all right? Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this'll do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now. <clears throat> and there, perfect. All right. 
right. So, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. We need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? Chicago? All right, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? Look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. No. Oh. Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. Damn it, Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! <laughs> 